100 mile an hour tails. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Once upon a time, there was a queen who named her daughter Snow White because her skin was so fair and lovely. Unfortunately, the queen died and Snow White's father married a new queen who wasn't very nice at all. In fact, she was evil, vain and wicked. Every morning, she would stand in front of a magic mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The mirror would always answer, you are my queen. The seasons passed and as the years went by, Snow White's cruel and wicked stepmother continued to treat her very badly indeed, and although her life wasn't easy, Snow White grew into a very beautiful young woman with fair skin and jet black hair. One day the Queen asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The mirror replied, Snow White is the fairest of them all. The Queen wasn't at all pleased and ordered a servant to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. The servant did as he was instructed, but luckily for Snow White, the servant couldn't bring himself to kill her because she was so lovely. Instead, he released her and told her to run and hide in the forest where she would be safe from the Black Queen. In the forest, Snow White met seven dwarves who befriended her and in exchange for doing their cooking, cleaning and other light domestic duties, gave her food and shelter in the little cottage. She lived happily with the dwarves and took care of them and they loved her dearly. Then one day when the evil queen asked her magic mirror, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror once again replied, Snow White. The evil queen was not at all happy that Snow White was still alive. She cunningly disguised herself as an old peddler woman and made a batch of rosy red poisoned apples. She went to the dwarf's house and tempted Snow White into eating a poisoned apple, which she did, and immediately it put her into an everlasting sleep. The dwarves placed Snow White in a glass coffin and kept watch over her until one day a handsome prince passed by. He was so taken with Snow White's beauty that he just had to kiss her. The kiss broke the spell and Snow White woke from her deep sleep and soon she and the prince were married and they lived happily ever after. As for the evil stepmother, some say she got so enraged that she dropped dead. I have my own ideas. Fluffy, buzzy thing. What are you? I'm a bee. And who are you? I'm the boy from far away. What do you do? I make honey. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that looks fun. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> oh. Is horrid. That's still not the honey. We make that back at the hive. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Yummy. This is lovely. Please, can I have some more? You can't just eat the honey. It's for the Queen. Oh, I hope I'm not in trouble. Let's go and ask the Queen if you can have some more. Syl, you'd like some of my lovely honey, would you? Oh, yes, please. Because you like it so much, here's some especially for you. But next time, please ask. Oh, thank you, Queen Bee. Boy, dinner time. I've got to go now, but thank you both very much. Bye. Bye, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. What's this? It's called honey, and when I put it on my porridge, it tastes lovely. To this day, they remain good friends, and the turtle was adopted by an elderly couple in Florida. It's that time in the show where we go live to our very own reporter, Ray. Let's find out where he is today. Talk to me, Ray. Ugh, not a good look. Oh, and Raymond, you're live on air. Oh, uh, hey, why didn't you tell me? I just did. <clears throat> I'm here in the African savanna, reporting on the sad decline of wildebeest in this part of the world. Ah, ah, get off! <laughs> Got a new buddy, I see, Ray. <clears throat> Come here, you little... Maybe we should let the crow do the report, Ray. Ah, ah! So where have the wildebeest gone then, Ray? My sources say that they've totally vanished from the face of the earth. And so it looks as though we'll never see these magnificent creatures again. Real shame, huh? Are you quite sure they've all gone, Ray? Why, yes. Only the other day, an expert told me... If you happen to see a wildebeest ray, do let us know.
was ordered to pay each member of the mariachi band $34 and was banned from wearing brightly colored hats for a year. It's time to go over now to our so-called reporter, Ray. Hello, Ray. <laughs> Ray, our amazingly intrepid but slightly stupid reporter, is back with us now. Hello, Ray. Where are you? Sorry? Who are you calling stupid? Oh, the guy standing near a volcano that's about to erupt. That's who. A uh, guy standing near to a volcano that's about to... Hold on! You're talking about me! Anyway, we're running out of time. Let's move this thing along. <clears throat> I'm here on the remote island of Krakatobar, where this huge volcano behind me erupts once every 200 years at the stroke of midnight. I must tell you, everyone here is very, very, very tense at the prospect. Get out of the way. Ahem. It's almost midnight, folks. Hold on to your hats. Three, two, one. Hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, I think my watch may be a tad fast. Hey, you gotta lava that guy. Oh! 